Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool Knives on the table today are headed to Robert King at Red Hill Tactical. He's in Hoggerstown, Maryland. We are expediting these knives to Robert because he has a big event he is going to this next weekend. And I am sorry I don't have the details on the event, but I bet if you contact him and you want to be there in person and get your hands on some of these sexy knives, reach out to him. He's at 301-707-7972. And it's uh, Red Hill Tactical in Hoggerstown, Maryland. And, yes. What? You know, Mr. Rogers always used to be really happy when the people in his neighborhood stopped by. Like, oh, look at the mailman stop by. Mr. Wimple. You know, I mean. Is it Wimple or I, Whipple? I don't know. <laughs> I was just making that up. Are you, are you ever happy when I stop by? I am. <laughs> don't talk. Don't talk to people about that drink. No? No, this is a sexy batch of knives. Did you see this is the one? That's nice. This one here tickles my fancy. <clears throat> you okay with the pivots on that? I picked that. Yeah, I haven't seen those pivots in a long time. I know. Actually. I wanted I thought it would look nice with the um, with the blade. Man. A little more subdued, classic, retro. I, I think it's pretty fabulous. It is. You like it? I do. Cool. Things going smoothly? Yeah. Swimmingly? Swimmingly. All right. Well, I just want to come by and say hi. Hi. Red Hill Tactical? Yes. What's up, guys, Red Hill Tactical? Well, I see you got everybody taken care of very well. Cracking the whip. All right. I'm going to go out and do some stuff. Go do some stuff. All right, cool. You never drink that. No, I did not Thousand drink this. calories in a cup. Don't say that many calories out loud. It makes Eight, me feel bad. 850. All right, I'm going to go throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that's, okay, that's our intro. Now let's see what's headed his way. All right, this, if you were to just look at the uh, thorn here, you wouldn't even know that on the other side, it is faced and it's got gunner grip laser engraving on it. Turn towards me. Turn towards you. That work? Mm -hmm. It's just up when the light's hitting it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a special one-off, and this is a discontinued model. So, Robert, mark it up. $500. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Ah, Thorn. Special. M48. PVD blade. Blue aluminum handle. Gosh, the blue on blue is stunning. That's beautiful. And a PVD spring with blue hardware. I think that's probably my favorite fit and finish. The blue on the new uh, Torx pivots comes up brilliantly. God, that's beautiful. The only thing I might do is a brush blue clip, but you know, I'm just saying. M48, a full thick midi marauder. Here's the gunner grip. Again, I'm not sure what Jason Langston did, but he's our laser engraving specialist. And it's got um, an abalone look to it. So it almost looks like fish scale. And then we did pinstriping around the handle. It frames it really nicely. And then we did pinstriping on the blade. Just a very, very super subtle and thin. And on the clip. I love on the clip when uh, Fish goes through and does this nice rounded chamfer at the edge of it. So just a lovely midi marauder, not a slim midi marauder, 3V PVD Tonto with pinstriping and gunner grip on the handle and spring. And handle and spring. Wow, that's so cool. Okay full-sized marauder and again I, I always like showing similarities you notice the two grooves the full thick marauder and the full-sized thick marauder sport the two finger grooves whereas the marauder h has the rectangular so this is a 3v vulcan i would call this a dirty vulcan blade it's just kind of brooding and dark and dirty it doesn't have a lot of bling a lot of color but i know a lot of fellas out there who just love it i think it's a nice contrast to the peaks and valleys blue and bronze with blue hardware and a just a straight up blue clip and P3 breaker. Then we have another dirty blade, 3V. It's got some dark rose in there. I'm sorry, dark violet with some bronze predator flamed hardware and a brushed and flamed clip. Oh, these are all dirty. Robert, dirty Vulcan blade headed your way. 3V again, Vulcan. I think the 3V does have a tendency to be a little bit darker depending on the blade. It's beautiful filigree laser engraving with a violet background, flamed hardware, and a violet spring. 
All right, Fat Daddy with Lazy River Violet, Satin S35 Blade, and it looks like, you know what? Polished pivots, it's got a really beautiful rounded chamfered edge on the pivots and on the clip. You can see that soft, smooth contour. It just is silky, silky smooth. That's an excellent knife right there. Standard straightforward Scout MP D2 PVD Tonto, black. Praetorian T, 3V PVD drop point with silver laser engraving that gives it really awesome texture in the fuller. So if you want a little extra texture, maybe you have arthritis, maybe you have difficulty opening up, uh, opening up our knives single-handedly, that's a wonderful aid in helping you do that. We have a polished spine and tumbled handle. So reverse tuxedo, 3V drop point with some bells and whistles on it. And then here, Robert, you have been so patient. I think this was ordered, I don't know, two and a half years ago. So one of the very few Damascus knives, you see the N stamped on the blade, that's a Chad Nichols Damascus Tonto. These are titanium handles. It looks kind of like the gator belly with some contouring around it. And we did this acid laser etch flaming treatment on the handle in spring. And I said, ooh, ooh, please can we find the old school M pivots? And we did. And I know the two hole pivots, you know, when we went to six, uh, six gun pivots, people were so happy, but this right here is retro. I fucking love it. Pardon my French. And then we have a tie mascus clip just to tie it in all together. <laughs> tie, tie mascus, get it? Mm. And then the breaker, there's some custom work done on the breaker. It's got a very smooth groove down the top of it. That knife right there is absolutely gorgeous. Robert, I imagine you might not want to part with it, but if you do, the price will be right for sure. Full-size Praetorian tie, another Lazy River. Bronze Lazy River on this one. Bronze hardware. There's the 3 for 3B Vulcan Tonto, a PVD breaker. And beautiful, again, the clip looks like and the pivots look like they've been not just brushed, but polished, and you can feel it to the touch. And then Robert has a deep headed his way. I believe he might have a second one, but I don't want to speak too soon, but I do believe he has two of these, and these are hard to come by. So, please reach out to Robert King. I wish I knew the name of the event. There are all kinds of things going on right now. We have Blade Show West. We have uh, the Recon Show in Southern California. All kinds of stuff going on. The show I think um, that Robert King will be attending, I'm sure is close to him up in Maryland. Um, but reach out to him and ask what's going on. See how you can uh, meet with him, rub elbows, and get your hands on some of these absolutely gorgeous knives. Keep watching the videos. Until the next time, I'm out.